the Leo and Danny show. They will sell you an orphanage. Anybody will sell you an orphanage if you have enough collateral in the form of soybeans. Do you think... <laughs> if... Okay, what if somebody had put all your, like, pedophile jokes from all the videos on a loop and showed it to the orphanage? Do you think you'd still... You'd be in the running to get it? If somebody put together a cosmic reel of J.P. Morgan fucking all of his mistresses <laughs> on his yacht, the Corsair... Uh -huh. Do you think any of the railroad bosses would have spoken out against him? No. No. Uh, they still would have no. quivered and feared. When I walked yes. into that orphanage, hello, Mr. Mullen. And I walked over mm -hmm. like Scrooge approached the desk of Bob Cratchit. Mm -hmm. It's definitely soybeans, Leo. Did they fucking find them, dude? I want to see. Can I see your investment app? Uh, the one I have Why, yeah. with all my stuff. Yeah, in? absolutely not. Why? You're afraid I'm going to say it loud on the podcast? Yeah, dude. No, I will not. No, you can't see that. Maybe one day in private when we're not, you know, when I, I'm going to have to make you sign some stuff. I, I will know. say this, Leo. I've asked you twice over the course of a month, maybe. Mm -hmm. So pretty close. I asked you two separate times mm -hmm. and I asked you how much money you had invested in stocks. I haven't told you. No, no. You gave me two figures mm -hmm. and one was double the figure you gave me the first time. Well, I might have lied the first time. Because I, I'm uncomfortable with the with the uh, the number. Can I not say it? No, don't say it. It doubled. Which yeah. I don't know if you're alive. I'll show it to you after the podcast today. I'll show it to you. Okay. You know what my advice is going to be after I see it? Oh, God. That I should invest in a commodity soybeans and get a storage unit? What are you paying for the storage unit now? I don't have to wear my top hat anymore because you understand. Okay, well, that's good. That's good. I don't have to posture as the Monopoly man. Good. You're finally talking some sense. That's right. Okay. Wow. And I heard you have some ideas about newfangled investments like Bitcoin. Oh, and is that what you're invested in right now? Uh, not entirely, but I'm about 70% crypto with my investment portfolio, probably. What else do you invest in, dummy? Uh, ETFs, <laughs> uh, just long-term conservative stuff, he's, some day stocks, some up, options. Yeah. I'm pretty diversified. What do you know about commodities? <laughs> What commodity are we speaking of, Danny? Soybeans. Damn. Fuck your soybeans. Corn <laughs> oil. I don't want your fucking corn oil. <laughs> if you're not invested in the DBC index fund, from here on out, I don't want you listening to the podcast. Oh. DBC index fund. I'm not familiar with this one. <laughs> That's because you're a shrunken handed fool. God damn well, it. Well, dude. show me your due diligence. <sighs> you want to see my you want to see my fucking soybean stuff? Yeah, fucking yeah, show it dude, to me, Danny. Let's go, dude. <laughs> Come over here. Alright. What the fuck? I want to see this too. You have just a boxes of soybean? No, I'll show you. I'll show you my fucking look at this. This no, is you're using the Apple stocks app. That's not I'm not showing you my investments, but dude, oh. look at this shit. Look at the past what six the months. Fuck? This is soybean. It's all about soybeans. It's all about soybeans. Apparently. That fuck Wait, yeah, I got that. Don't look when you look at the uh, all. It's it's clearly on a downward trajectory. It it was 14, but it's gonna pull up soon. It says fourteen sixty two at close. What does and that the mean? Fifty two week low is fourteen sixty. So it's pretty much as low as it has been all year. <laughs> oh wait, it's also January fourth. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. I, I guess it's yeah, getaway. Yeah, yeah, we gotta. You're breathing pure fumes. You are. You're hammered. I you love smell it. Smell like you've been drinking more than Colt forty five. Cold no, forty five and two six eggs. You can store soybeans and have them ferment for. Over a hundred years, and it only gets better. It makes better soy sauce. Seriously, I I would believe that. I don't I don't know enough about soy. Soy beans. sauce is just fermented soybean paste. It no, is that's so true. salty <laughs> and good. Why do you think sushi is so hot right now? It's hot. It's not the fish. It's not the rice. It's the soy sauce. That's right, baby. That's right. That was hilarious. How much money do you have invested right now? Um, close to three million. That's your parents' money, partially, right? Uh, no, that's you, mine. A little trust fund action. I was in Bitcoin pretty early. Damn, no, there's bro. no way you, of all people, generated three million of your own dollars. He's he's a Jew. And I, 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 I do six doing. different things. His parents were Jews too, and they gave him a nest egg of one point five no, million. No, I think Aspen Aspen said Danny, he he was a millionaire. There's a separate trust fund that I have don't have access to until I'm forty five. That's my that's the money from my. Parents. If you're a hardcore fan, put my name on this trust fund. <laughs> that's what I want. Who is that? Fuck you. You want your Jew gold? Technique? That's the Jew gold, Austin. Is this kid's trust fund? It's not down in Argentina. <laughs>
That's cool, man. That's cool. John's a successful guy, man. He's been telling me about crypto for a while. I could have, if I jumped on it. It actually is down today. It's down today? It's down Mm. today. Maybe get in. Mm. Can I say this, John? Because I don't actually believe you have $3 million, but assuming you do, if anybody else wants to assume that, you probably know about investing. I'm always preaching, and I have read three books on the subject, that most people, and by most, I mean 99% of people, Mm -hmm. shouldn't even bother with individual stocks. Because what you hear from your fucking uncle, or what you read on Yahoo.com about Tesla or about Amazon... Those people don't know what they're talking about, and you certainly don't have enough information to judge yeah. long term where the stock's mm-hmm. going to be. Invest in index funds. Be conservative. Yeah. Be safe. Don't be like Leo, who puts a hundred thousand dollars in individual stocks. Uh, we me, don't know. We don't this know. This man texted me. That and number said, is if not. You had a hundred thousand dollars. to put on one stock. One stock. What would you put? And he it said on? cannabis. No, I didn't no. Put it on. I also said I would do that. You're right. He said he would diversify. And before that, I said, "Damn, sugar mama came through." No, no, that is not what happened. And I don't have $100,000 in the stock market, all right? And if you did, it would be be retarded to put it in an individual stock. stock. Of course. I was looking at uh, Abercrombie and Fitch stock. I was at a party this weekend, Mm -hmm. and we were talking about Abercrombie and Fitch and how they got quote-unquote canceled Mm -hmm. for not marketing to fat people. Oh, yeah, Mm -hmm. I remember that. Which blessed their hearts. And I was looking at their stock. Abercrombie and Fitch, if you were pulling a Leo and investing in a bunch of individual stocks, you would have bet the house in 2008 when every homecoming queen and every junior prom prince Mm -hmm. was rocking Abercrombie and Fitch. But now Mm -hmm. that stock is in the fucking toilet. Yeah. And the same thing could happen to Amazon. It could happen to to Amazon, Tesla. Tesla, What if if Toyota develops an electric car? They might crush Tesla. That's way better than Tesla. I mean, Tesla's car, dude, I went in, I don't know, the government rebates that you get, the fact that a normal random Tesla can beat almost any car on the street, zero to 60, the fact that... I don't know. That's so cheap. I mean, look at your roommate, dude. He doesn't. The, the electricity bill hasn't even gone up in this place. Either way, it it's probably going to be good for a little while. I mean, you know, you can see some signs before you have to take it out before it tanks completely. But of course, it is. It's always a risk. The stock market's a risk. That's why I'm more of a real estate guy, and I'm just trying to save up money to buy some real estate. But this last year, because of the pandemic. I thought maybe day trading and having some fun with stocks was a good learning experience, and it has been. And that's why I have guys like John who talk to me about stocks. Or you, learn you, have to keep in mind, Pokemon cards. you have to keep in mind that markets are stochastic and can't be predicted. Yes. Yeah. There's nothing you could do. No one knows if it's going up, down, or fucking sideways. Right. Doesn't it piss you? No, that's a quote directly out of Wolf of Wall it Street. Is. Very nice. But doesn't it piss the stata- you off? The stochastic part wasn't, but... I don't even know what that word means. Doesn't it piss you off, though, that every shithead right now is like, bro, I'm fucking killing it with my Apple stocks. Everybody's killing it right now. The market really? is moving decidedly upwards and to the right. Mm-hmm. And you look at any graph. You're coming well, out of a crisis. You could have thrown it. Well, look, it, it just it crashed. And if you bought stock in March, it's it's up now. That's all it is. I did mean, you, it, it was a crash. But yeah, did I? Did what, you see the company Thermofreeze? No. Went from five cents to twenty five dollars. Oh in God. several days you become a millionaire overnight that happens to people. i have Danny. a friend who made five million dollars off it i that's it happens i didn't buy it, it, it exactly I I, it happens Danny, every single day in the stock market that's what makes it kind of people like an addicting thing yeah every day there's some stock that goes up three four hundred percent every single day it's not like i want to get I, you have to fucking be involved in penny stocks in order to really you got him this particular you got stock invest in the up. danny mullen show yep Come well, yeah, the, the, this, this soon, is going uh, up, and then you'll make a. But lot. no, real estate is where I, you know, that's no. where I, no. I would, what, that's where you no. want to, that's no. what you want to do. Well, the S and P five hundred, no. you, how much money do you have in that right now? I'm not going to say mm-hmm. for tax reasons, mm-hmm. and also I don't want my fans to envy and resent me <laughs> because it is a staggering amount. I'm going to leave yeah. the audience with this though. Mm-hmm. This is a quote from the great Ray Dalio. You know him, don't you? Legendary hedge fund manager manages more assets than almost anybody on this planet, maybe more than anybody on this planet. He said there are two fundamental principles to investing. One, thou shall not try to time the market. And two, thou shalt always invest in soybeans. Oh, (laughs) God damn it. And Austin Slosher's eight and a half inch Inch cock. cock. Yeah. Get up for John, dude. Hey, follow John. This guy's a fucking legend, dude. Holy At shit. John Z Landa on yeah. Instagram. There yeah. we go, dude. Good follow. man. He good is a man. good sport. He good took a sport, lot of dude. Fucking legend. Yeah.